Uh, I actually wanted to talk about Shen's three because when he submitted his three, I was actually super surprised at what he locked in. Um, I remember before he locked in like a weird like um, Hanoka build. That's like an OTK Hanoka where it, like drains all your aura. And then it you was really yeah, hard. it was Hanoka A and Chicago, and I forget what the did he. It wasn't was even it a lock. It wasn't a lock in the last tournament. It was pick whichever you want each match, right? Well, you could do. Well, it was an option. You could do pick two or uh, pick three man one. So no, no, no. I know, but each match oh. he could change it. Yeah. Did he do pick two? I don't remember, but I do remember him playing some weird OTK deck that I'd never seen before. And I was like, oh, wow, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, because um, he would use hand and trembling hand and then combo with the uh, Amorphous Misfin. I personally misfin. think that Sine needs to be banned. He opts for an instant Hatsumi ban. It feels very emotional. I, I saw the Hatsumi <laughs> before, and I don't like I don't like Hatsumi Oboro. I don't know what the Hatsumi, uh, Hatsumi oh. Kururu is looking like, but I can respect the Hatsumi ban. Especially when you have... Uh, when you think your Sine is probably going to get banned, for instance. Like, yeah. Because uh, I... then you're close range and you have Atsumi, the, the range locker, against you. I'm kind of curious to see what he opts for. Because, like, Karu is always a, a weird one for me. Because Karu changes the way that you win the game again. As I was saying, Karu can do two things. She can say, hey, I'm going to win the game a different way. Or she can say, hey, I'm going to make your character really strong. So now yeah. we can see what, what, what he chooses the offer. I, I don't have the brain power to play Karu. Or you can just be like, I'm just going to do a bunch of weird control things and just let my other character just default to win. But yeah, Karu has always been a character that I've definitely never been a fan of. But I I've mean, seen some pretty impressive stuff come out. Karu is almost like Kanai with the uh, like story story win, in a sense. Because you can just kind of ignore what your opponent's doing and burn them down with like a tier, for instance. But Yeah, like Alakaider, yeah. An Alakaider build. Yeah, that's definitely interesting. Uh, I mean, there's no way. I think it's almost... Well, Chikage is an interesting band here, right? Um, because it gets to exhibit... Um, because it gets to Chicago is very interruptive to a control sort of style, and assuming he has to assume that Karu isn't banned, so assuming that Karu isn't banned, then I do think that um, Chicago would be a very good ban here because you don't want to have to sit on poisons and sit on things that exhibit control. Um, but he does opt for the Sine ban to alleviate more of the pressure. Uh, but also, I want to talk. Actually, actually, I'm very actually now I'm thinking about it. This ban feels a little odd, doesn't it? I would just because... use the ban Kururu. Oh, I, okay. That's, I don't know about that one. But, <laughs> like, for... Because taking Sine off the table, right? Because assuming that your career goes through, right? Your aura damage isn't going to be super high. Therefore, making Sine a little bit less attractive, no? Because when you... Because as I said, this is all the assumption that Karuru isn't banned. I don't really know um, what Antic's thoughts on what he thought was going to be banned. But assuming the Karuru goes through, right? Um, wasn't banning Chikage be better? But if you assume the Kururu wasn't going to go through, then yes, I would agree with the Sine ban, but I guess it depends on where he thought it was going to be banned. Yeah, I would I would just ban Kururu on Fanatic side and mm. Chikage on the on the on Shen side. I okay. I, I'm inclined to agree, but I feel like the kind of the sense maybe from One Antic is like the only character there that contests strongly on range is Sine. Okay, that's also true. I mean, handshaking like art. Yeah, it's a good point. I mean, but like contesting at, oh yeah, I guess the further range. Uh, I don't know. Eh, yeah, I, I, like Shen's so, right now. He, he he just slaps in seven attack cards and then calls it today. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, he's just, that's... <laughs> one of those yeah, is man, pretty standard, right? Concealment's not exactly an attack, but it, it kind of is a very strong attack when it needs to be. <laughs> What what are the chances of this working out? <laughs> very um very high, considering he's got two aggressive characters. I mean, I like everything he's built. I think it's a standard aggressive deck. Um, so I don't really think that like there needs to be any hardier thought to this. I mean, mm. it's not reaction heavy. Yeah, I, I guess the big question is the specials. He definitely shouldn't opt for like don't go for Ut Serene, don't go for anything defensive because it's pointless. Really? Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna see the uh, nah. I was gonna say. Oh, I that... actually don't like Storm here. I would just what? take Final Blow. Oh, Final Blow's fine. <laughs> uh, Storm's yeah. weird. I don't know why he's opting for Storm. The Poison's fine. I like that one. Yeah, the Poison's like solid the... against Karuru. Yeah, the only question that I have is the reaction. What's he reacting to? The 2 2? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh. Why? <laughs> but yeah, I would not. I would remove Storm and opt for probably Final Blow. That's my opinion. Or is that a crush? I don't know. He won with crush last time. Maybe oh. it's just better. 
Oceans go going for the, 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 the copy the throughout Ooh, but uh, I really like... Shadow Cloning. Oh, no, he, he's opting not to do it. Eh? He's thinking about it. I don't know. I That's really a good storm one. here. I, one I, antic, I, he but, uh, right. But I don't know. Storm, I'm not a huge fan of Storm, but we'll see what happens. Does he have a way to enable that um, the Art of thing? Yeah, he does. No. Well, no, he doesn't. I don't know. Art of Drawing is also very weird, but that's just a personal preference. I don't usually don't like packing Art of Drawing if I don't have a 100% way to get to R3 with it. Which well, I don't think he has. Obero, <laughs> Obero loves just... to be in the range band of Art of Drawing, so like you yeah, can, yeah, you're almost guaranteed that they'll be in there at some point. You don't really need anything to enable it. It's just well, if I mean, you use it and then they have a big discard, then you die. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think I would just risk bringing Bear not right now because... Because of the range that Yurina wants to play, sometimes you should just forget about the bear. I really think he should reconsider Storm. And personally, I wouldn't go Art of Jog, but I'm sure some people would disagree. That's a card I've gone back and forth on, for sure. Yeah. But I don't know what's better. That's kind of like the other problem that I'm running into. Oh, you know what's... Oh, you know, I know what's better is him just jamming a poison in his hand. I think, like... I wish Shen would approach the match in a more disruptive way. Because he's like he's kind of like going for the all in. I'm going to kill you strat, which is which is a good which is a good idea. But yeah. I wish he would just tune it down just a little bit and go for a more aggressive poison strat. Because you can tell by the way his specials are going, he just wants to kill his opponent as quickly as possible. Well, and I think that's, that's, that's 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 not because it's Karuru. Because you want yeah. you want to try and shut Karuru down before Industria does whatever Industria is trying to do. Oh, like as I said, I agree with his, his approach to the match. I just wish he would tune down the aggression a little bit and go for something more disruptive, like the putting, like the, the the special that puts the poison in the hand, as well as the um the normal card that puts the poison in the hand. Like I don't like, I would like get rid of Art of Jolly. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. I don't. And I just want to quite do... follow what One Antic is trying to go for here with the Industria. Like, uh, I guess you can Industria Steel Maybe Springs, Shen. and it's no uh, One Antic it. is the Obero and the Karuru. Oh, I. There you go. Fuck. Sorry, oh, I, I, I didn't see that. Sure. No, thanks. What? No, I, I, I'm sorry. Thank you for correcting me. What kind of card is one antic planning to Industria? Yeah, that's exactly what I was just asking. Yeah. Uh, that throughout, right? I could see it being yeah. like Ninpo Log, but that would be kind of dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like the correction that Shen's made. Still strict. With the, I still don't agree with the, his last special, but. That's just my opinion. But yeah, I do like the way that he turned down the art of drawing and went for the poison disruption. That's actually um something that I really like. Oh, I think I think he's going for the, the, the steel strings. He's gonna industry the steel strings and then start playing it on on the, the, the reshuffle. I think he's done this to me. I think I've played I've played him against this. I'm almost sure. Oh, that's his mole. Okay. I guess steel strings is just a really nice two two attack. Yeah. Do you wanna you wanna freeze the camera or whatever? Um, does Meg Luo tell you to do it? I'm trying to get the deck list copied here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know any of the cards when Antic's playing. I don't play those characters, so I don't know any Kuru I've played, card. I've played against this before. Though it's been yeah. a while. Like this yeah. this exact duo from him. Yeah, my primary opponent is just Meg Luo, and he just always plays aggressive decks, so I really don't see That's like, a lot of more true. control decks. <laughs> That's what he opts for. It's not like, I'm not saying he isn't good at control decks, but he definitely likes to play more aggressive decks in general. Uh, here's Nick watching as well. Although he doesn't like how he is. He like an Utsuro player, so maybe, I don't know. He doesn't play, but he doesn't ever play like his main characters against me. Well, yeah. Right. Does Menglu have main characters? Yeah, I mean, I always thought it's Utsuro, uh, Megumi, and something. I don't know what his last one is. Maybe I just happen to run them into Utsuro a lot. Uh, his performance is pretty good on Utsuro. I still, I still want to pick up. I still want to learn Utsuro someday. I, sometimes I dabble in, with her, but uh, I usually suck with her. Ah, yes, the classic Poison Turn One is very fun. I mean, it's a solid skill that hits from anywhere. Yep. I wonder, I wonder if he's going to go for the, um, the muscle relaxant turn one again. It's not a bad way to go, but then again, Karuru doesn't necessarily care about not yeah, being able to play attacks. Option. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good option if you don't know the rules. Pretty pog. <laughs> no attacks, let's go. What do you opt for? Uh, uh, it looks like muscle relaxant. Oh, there you are. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah he opts for it again. Yeah. He likes this opening. Why? 
Uh, because you can't really hard to get out of hand. You can't play uh, it without burning your aura. Right. Yeah. Right. That's a good point. Quick shout out to Kunai throwing it and Shen's hand. I played around that the whole match and he never had it. Um, oh, no, yes, he did. Right he did have match. it. <laughs> wrong match. <laughs> All right, what are we opting? Yeah, Poison Needle. Yeah, everything looks pretty standard there. I think it's the only thing I'm not super sure about in Shen's deck is the Storm. I don't know what he's reacting to. But other than that, I like everything else in his deck. The only thing um, he could be reacting the to the throughout from Obero. Yeah, the thing about Storm is that it can get your opponent like. Yeah, it opens them up. Doesn't expect. Yeah, it opens them up when they are not expecting. The uh, fun combo you could do is you storm their last attack, and then you take that attack to life anyways. So yeah. then you have enough flare for final blow, but they have two less aura. Yeah, that's proof bug. Oh, they need turns on. I'm that's why I like the 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 A one as well. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, yep, can I take a peek through this real quick? Uh, I know Drain I know Industry, uh, yeah, yeah, do Yep, got the Toby Are there Kage. any good yeah, Toby, Toby Kage, Kage, Kage targets? Reflected as an interesting okay. one. Yeah. Maybe they're Devil. Because if you reflect uh, yeah. on their second attack, it just cancels it as it comes out. Yep. Assuming that you have the uh, mechanism for it, but... Pog. Yeah, oh, I was going to Nimpo Walk as well. Okay. Yeah, Nimpo okay. Walk oh, is I'm actually seeing... okay too because you can you can actually chain Nimpo Walk on Toby Kage. Whoa, yep. one antic. Yeah. Not... Wow, actually, this is a little odd already from one antic. I feel like you focus heavy in the early game, just get Drain Devil online online as soon as possible. No, his advancing seems a little strange because he's definitely not the aggressor in this matchup. All right, now he's focusing. I don't know why he's moving forward though. There's no reason for him to. All right, there we it go. doesn't look like a very control-heavy deck from one antic, though, since he's using a lot of Oberol's attacks instead of just Kuru burn. Yeah, but I mean, you still want to get the Drain Devil online as soon as possible, no? I think his industrial plan is just to do Steel Strings and always have at least one in his discard. But yeah, then that yeah. way he well, can try and exactly try and fix the Russian in... blades. In this matchup, in particular. It could be worth saving Drain Devil as a reaction to mm -hmm. react to the one to attack from Chicago. Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely not a Kuru player, so let's see. And I'm definitely aggressing out here. Oh Shen, gosh, he's gonna take so much. Shen did run the Vivacity against you in his last match too, so like yeah. keeping the Drain Devil to help against that could be something he's considering. <laughs> Ah oh, yes, yeah, kind of weird. Defense. There's no vivacity here, right? Not particularly. He needs to kill him, not play with him. I mean, I don't know. It, like vivacity, I think is really good against like Takoyo in particular. Like vivacity is really good like to block reactions. I don't think there's like particularly like crazy reactions Does from. Uh, has one that cancels the attack. Is that R four? Is it not? Oh, it's R four. Karu does count. not cancel. Karu yeah. doesn't cancel, but it will. Force cards out of your hand, or let them like cycle through their deck. Yeah, I mean, right. you don't feel super bad about that, right? Yeah, no, generally no. Yeah. Uh yes. Yep. When he takes running into the else. same nonsense I ran into. Uh oh, yeah, he got two poisons, and he's got to find a way to get rid of them. He might just muscle relax it himself next turn, because I'm assuming that Shen's going to apply more pressure this turn. Also, a, a lot of poisons are skills though, and they do trigger Mosul. Oh, the poison going on top of, the of course the one that the poison that makes it so you can't take basic actions doesn't really matter if it triggers spells. <laughs> all right we see the slash coming out no way he takes this yeah he uh, takes a life aura. right it's a three one yeah. if you don't take it to life yeah. you're very confident that there's no other attacks actually in this situation though he wouldn't be able to do it yeah, yeah. Uh, like even if you do sometimes it's you just want the flare also, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, but yeah, if he takes that to aura, then I lose my mind. But I don't think he actually would be able to punish him. But it would have been super bad, because on his next turn, he wouldn't be able to recover yeah, you it. Lose, so. You lose so, much, so many resources. Yeah, definitely not worth it. But yeah, very good take to life. Pretty standard, though. Um, yeah, it's really only questionable on, like, two ones, generally. If it's 2-2, two, two, you want to take it to aura. If it's... Yeah. 
There's it's, there's some it, outlying cases, granted, but yeah. like if you've it's seen like, your opponent's deck and you know they only have like one three one attack, then yeah, you'll take it aura. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Obviously, like, their last attack, and, like, they have, like, no cards, and you know their specials or something, and you have, like, five aura, and, like, sure, why not? Yeah. But, uh, you, you have to be just... pretty far ahead before you that becomes a consideration, though. Also true. Unless you're just playing, like, a... I don't know, some... Ooh! Oh, yeah, this is getting industrial, isn't it? Yeah, probably. It's gonna be an industrial it's target it's after it goes yeah. into the play pile. Be... Yeah, it has to be in your play pile, yeah. It doesn't yeah. have to be. It can be in your oh, hand, no? too, but it's better to play it and then get a copy. Yeah. And this but will even, is, even uh, out the deck, too, yeah. here. You can't discard it, can you? Uh, in Industrial? You can't discard it, no. Uh, uh. Yeah, reflector coming out. This is Reflector, right? Yep. yep. Oh, got, okay. got the mecha, so you, yeah, he needed the attack to get that going. And he didn't take any basics, so he can get rid of the poison. That's solid. Yep. It's a pretty good turn. That's actually really good. Um, it didn't really affect him too much. Um, so yeah, very good way to get rid of the poison. May have been able to play the muscle relax in there too while you're sitting on Reflecta, but... Uh, he'd have to eat a lot to Aura. It's not worth. Kind of surprised the Industry didn't come out. Yeah. But yeah, um, the muscle relax is a little questionable because it has to take two Aura damage and you're going to be very sad. So <laughs> you don't want to take two Aura damage at this range you get trash canned. Oh, uh, yeah. Point. I forgot to take out take out a, a battle from that that got corrected though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Needle time, Pog. See, sitting on two vigor. Right, I have a random thought. Go what ahead. By spamming a lot of poisons, you slow down the opponent's reshuffle time. Which... In this <laughs> matchup would mean that Obero will have less chances to reshuffle for the traps. And it will also mean that Kururu has a lot of longer time to reshuffle to re-trigger the Industria. Yeah, unless they, yeah, they choose to good. deliberately reshuffle earlier. I mean, that, but that implies that he had the time to get Industry in the first place. Like the, the 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 gear in the first place into the discard pile. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. I never thought about that one. The damage been resolved. Oh. He took it to um, Aura, right? Or did he? I didn't see the damage. Um, the I don't know if I saw that. He oh. took it to Aura. Okay. Oh, okay. And multitasking is hard. All right. Now we see the hallucinogen. hallucinogen. Two poisons in hand. That sucks. But he can kind of play that pretty safely here, especially if he industrious his turn. Yeah. yeah. I mean, industrious certainly coming out. You could also, you could also, if he wanted to be really goofy, industrious one of the poisons away permanently. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh, no. Well, then we're not really playing to win. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> yeah, this is actually... Did he have any other... I actually would have put back the basic one in his hand. Uh, the flare one seems a little odd there. Um, I don't know what he was trying to protect himself against. I think he should have just put the basic action one. I think that just would have been better, no? Let's poison? see. I, well, I don't know what he would be worried about here. but Maybe he's just expecting another poison, and then he draws two again. It does mean he like he's saying, hey, you can't develop more flair. You have to do your industrial thing if you're going to do it. Yeah, I guess he's just handshaking the industrial. I mean, just making sure he can't do anything else, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, like building up to bear or something, because he's sitting at four range still. R three looking a little scared. What was the 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 last the last special from one integrator? Uh, Toby Kage. Right, right, right. That's um, that's the bear one. Just... He, that's no, the that's play the... anything oh. from your discard as a reaction. Yeah. Oh, Pog. Uh, maybe I should maybe he should have taken the bear. I, I still I still think the bear would have been better here. Just because you make your opponent play around it. Yeah. You're discarding so many cards. 
Well, like the thing about Bear, though, I kind of have the same feeling about like Sine's final stage. It's like it's always that card that's like, damn, if I don't play around this card, then I lose. So like, it's always one of those things where it's like, I might as well just not bring it if everyone always plays around it. So he kind of gets the value out of it for free, unless he just shows it. So like now, like, um, Shen's gonna probably respect it anyway, even though he didn't bring it. So I think even the fact that like him not bringing it, it's like decent. Mm. He doesn't really need to respect it at this flare, though, does he? Oh, wait, no, I'm not talking about particularly no. right now. I'm just <laughs> okay, saying in okay. general. Okay. I'm just saying, like, in general throughout the match. Like, he's probably right. going to play around it, right? I mean, maybe he is in this case. Like, he's, like, not pressing the attack here. But I guess he couldn't get through the aura. He's just dumping his hand down. They're waiting for the Reflector to die down, yeah. Oh, right. right. Like, I mentioned it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yep. Here's the trap. Induce. We have Induce taking Paul. or uh... Shen gets a free vigor to perform a focus action. <laughs> okay. Oh, he can't seem to get all the cards. <laughs> oh, I see his game plan now. He's accelerating Rush of Blades with the steel strings. Can it come out right now? Or is he's it... gonna he's, he's gonna play like three steel strings on reshuffle at one point. He's not gonna be able to do that because he doesn't have the uh, bouncing fish or whatever. It's called. It's going to be really hard to hold a accelerate and a rush of blades and a steel strings with poisons in your hand. He just has to hold the the acceler and then drop rush of blades no, on draw, basically. You can just. Can't he just discard them all and play them? Oh, we can't. oh yeah, because he didn't he didn't bring the the the, the special that yeah that's yeah. Ever... Oh, that's, that's and I think that's he also needs an enhancement first to activate the. Uh... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, he he currently needs. Well, he gets one skill when he ups the Industria, so yeah, he just needs Mosul or. Uh... Actually, he had the Muscle Relaxer, but that's not going to let you play an attack, is it? So wait, yeah, he, so he was allowed to discard the um, the um, the gear, right? Yeah, you can you can discard yeah. gears for yeah. actions, regardless of whether or not like it's actually a card or what. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you can play it from the discard like a trap. Yep, this is coming to life for sure. Uh, it, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Has to respect it. Hands. Yeah, four cards in hand. Whoa. Okay. Oh, about to lose a bunch of life, probably. Yeah, so yeah no. Shen, Shen can punish Surely. this pretty well. Yeah, oh, he's not, though. Oh, did he just resolve? No, okay, there okay, we he go, missed. Yeah. I was about to say. <laughs> he missed. I do that, too, sometimes. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Why aren't I closer? I just moved up one. It's an <laughs> Honestly, I'd be tempted to just go to range 2 and see what he does with the 2-1, but... Well, now we're in an awkward situation, right? Because he wants to play the... He doesn't want to play the 2-2 two -two first, but he will. Okay, yeah, now he's just going to get misbained, and now he's very far behind in this match. This wow, wow. crushing dreams. Yeah, it honestly does because it happened super early in the game, but you just had a two light deficit. And you're like, damn, what if I played around? What if I just took that attack to life and now I'm just yeah. getting screwed? I would have been uh, in such a better position. Yeah, remember when you had that three aura before Slash went to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is going to put him so far behind now. Remember when you needed that, that one flare that you actually needed, but you didn't want to? <laughs> what? Wait, well, why not? Is it well now he's going to get two flare instead, right? <laughs> that's a good point. This is weird. Why not just play? He's opting. He's looking. He's thinking about advancing, and I don't know why. Maybe he's expecting some induce, right? Oh, I don't know what. It, what does induce react? To? What does that do? Um, you move forward one, or you uh gain one aura to flare. Basically, you do one. He's focus. playing around the induce reaction by putting his aura to full, so then oh, yeah. you oh, yes. move from distance into your aura. That's very so very well played special. there. Yeah, okay. Pretty well played. All right. Is he gonna jam the poison? Or is he gonna hold it? No, he's not gonna do it because he wants to have one card when he reshuffles. Yep, this is all good. And his opponent has two more cards. Just so much value there. That's one flare, two life damage. Sounds fair. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. You, you want to have aura against you? <laughs> yeah. He, you walk into it. <laughs> Muzzle comes up. All right. Pog. Yeah, now he's all now he's all on the defensive now. Yeah, I mean, he's he, he the name of the game for him. He's seen Kuna. He's seen Brandish. I don't know why you would take that slash to Aura, but 
Well, had he seen Brandish by then? Maybe not. Um, I no, do not he, he believe so. Brandish. You not seen Brandish? You should no, always Brandish assume that they're Brandish playing played. Brandish. Brandish and oh, for fight, sure. Right? Yeah. Brandish was played. I mean, it's there's the, just so many things. The, who didn't see. Also, with Mosul down, all of your reactions that are skills become much more potent. Yeah. So, pretty strong position here. Even if he just uses Induce to make Shen put an aura to flare, he can take a step in either direction. I'm sorry. Can someone highlight Induce for me? Uh, or can you highlight Induce? Let me just see what this does. I, like, I hear people like saying it, but like, does it click in my mind? All right, so. Uh, maybe just take a look at the, the sideboard uh, uh, real the, fast. The, the A1. Okay. Is that opponent's aura. aura to what? Yeah. Flare. It, they basically okay. they take a focus action or they take a move forward action. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Whoa. Yep, there comes the rush. Uh. Yeah. Would that be a 3-2 attack? Yeah, it is a 3-2. So he was allowed to play that because of sad rush. what? Because he accelerated it. Is that how, how, does that mean you can play a three-out card in your hand? Yep, you play yeah. it, you choose a three-out okay. card in your hand and play it. Yeah, Karu is not my specialty, a bit too, obviously. A bit too weak, I think. Yeah, I think he's kind of already... Too, like, it's kind of early in the game, but it feels like it's a little bit of just... Showing trying to get progress. something back. Trying to yeah. do something, make sure you... you rather do something than nothing. And just trying to see what sticks and what doesn't. But this is a very good position now for Shad. He's got a life lead. Uh, what Antic really hasn't got a lot of things going with the Industria. I mean, how many gears? We have two gears now? Or Yeah, he's yeah. got one left. So can somebody explain to me the gimmick with steel strings and shuffling a bunch of gears? How how could you get multiple steel strings in a reshuffle? One of Oboro's yeah, so specials is you could play any number of traps when you reshuffle. And... Yeah, but he didn't bring that. Nope. That's, that's what confuses me. When he played me, he brought that and he played like uh, three, three steel strings for every reshuffle. Ah, is that it? But if you're not bringing that, then no, it's a, uh, it's, it's just devoted. Yeah, action. it's a devoted uh, effect on uh, one of Oberos' yeah. specials. I see. You wanted to look at that sideboard here. That's right. Like... Yeah, so we're talking he, about this one. I here. wonder if he meant to play that but forgot to bring it. I wonder if he just picked the wrong four flare. Are they both four flare? I bet you they yeah. are. Well, I think How, most of Oberos' specials are. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna be so upset if he. Exactly. No, he didn't. He brought Toby Kage intentionally. I think he <laughs> wants to do some shenanigans with like Acceler yeah. or whatever. But I guess he's just gonna play steel strings from hand. I guess like one from uh, hand, one from this card. That also works. All right, fair enough. I mean, as I said, I'm not the crew player, so I don't know what's happening. Um, I think what's happening is one antic is losing the game, but. But me of little faith. <laughs> Maybe it's okay. A little what do you think allowed to lose? Because I lost to this guy, so now he can lose. It's okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. But as I said, I think Shed's definitely one of the stronger uh, participants of the tournament. Like he had a pretty average showing, but he also had some really hard opponents last tournament as well that were really strong. So, uh, oh. funny shout out to the last tournament where Shed did uh, fake rematched and uh, Shed won both times. Oh yeah, after the the rule confusion. Yeah. I did not see the second match, but I did see the first match. Yeah, this just feels like like he's taking up, but like, is he really playing like a combo deck though? That's like sort of the problem, right? And like, we haven't even hit the point, right, where Yuri does like scary. Like, we're not right now. We're just doing like really annoying Chicago things, and now we're like like Yuri hasn't even really come online. And he's yeah. gonna get. He's really gonna get a lot of value on this turn too. More poison, more pressure. Yep. What is that? Yep. He's got five aura in his hand, not even including Mispaid. So, but anyway, is Reflecta up? Or is Reflecta? That Reflecta is up. Mosul just went down. Okay. Okay. So that's that's a saving grace, I guess. Yeah, but that, but that yeah. just cancels one of four attacks. Oh well, yeah, but he doesn't get the full combo, right? Because he's able to wait. What? No, because the the the, the one. The oh, you know what? Is, yeah. Well, actually, it's really hard for him to get into... Well, let me think. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think he's going to try to cancel. Uh, I think he's going to cancel he... something that doesn't that, that is irrelevant. The one on the far left, the, uh, yeah. the backup to one, he's probably going to cancel. Yeah. Concealment, yeah. 
I think he's going to try to get that canceled, I think. Yeah. And then he's just going to miss beta again, because the rest of his hand counts up to 5 aura. 2-2, two, 1-1, two, uh, one, one, and then 2-2, two, 2-1. Two, two, so he takes it on an aura, then he gets miss baited again, and then it's just like, holy yeah. moly. And yeah, you'd probably open with a 2-1 there, hoping he takes it to aura. Yeah, that's a, a lot of damage coming up. Well, I mean, then again, that's the thing. Then again, you don't even hope he takes it to aura. I mean, it doesn't even matter. Either yeah, one, you're happy matter. with. If he takes the two one to life, you're he's better off because then he can take the the misbane to aura. That's true, but this is also a really, really awkward turn, right? Because the rages don't line up properly. Yep. Because he has a one two he needs to play and a four five he needs to play, and there's not like a super clean way with the reflected in play as well. If the reflected wasn't in play, it'd be a really yeah. nasty turn. But then, like, then, it's awkward then you now. can hilt strike concealment and be at range four. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't have that enabled to him. So now he has to think about if he wants to retreat a lot to enable this to work. He might just do it because he's so far ahead. I would just but do it, yeah. Yeah. You, can, you can exert so much pressure by doing that. Even if you yeah. do one aura, so what? Well, it would be more than that. It'd be at least two, right? Yeah, but you're, it, you're also, a a winning position his Miss Bane doesn't research this turn if he uses it. I guess is another. Oh, yeah, that's also true. Yeah, yeah, that's also a good point. You might even just go for the Fade Light here. Already well, actually, he... yes, it, it would resurge, right? Because he plays the needles. Uh, it d no, because that goes on the top of the deck. Yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't go to hand. Does it go to hand? I keep thinking it goes into your hand. It always feels like it does, but it doesn't. <laughs> it, it eventually does, I guess. No, it actually, it actually stifles a draw too. So it's like you're taking one vigor from the yeah. opponent in addition to giving them a poison. It it does suck. Yeah. So she's basically think... arguing like, oh. I rather it went to 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 my hand instead of the top of the deck. Oh, really? I don't, because I think yeah. it would make Miss Bane even stronger than it already is, so mm. I'm not super on board. But then it makes it so you actually draw two cards next turn instead of one. Yeah. Also true. I don't know, but I mean... I wonder how much life damage he can push this turn. Let's see what his other uh, specials are. I think his other one is Storm, right? So I think that's I think that's what he's thinking about. He can only Storm, push two. Storm is if, terminal, right? Oh, right. He's got final blow. I forgot about that. Isn't Storm terminal? Uh, Storm it is. is terminal. Yeah. Storm is terminal, but you could play it as the second attack, and then it would get cancelled. Doesn't, then the oh. Doesn't that still matter. End, ends your turn? Uh, no, because it didn't resolve. Interesting. Oh, we're opening with uh, interesting. Yeah, Sorry. I don't know. So he's not playing the hill strike this turn. Guess not. We're not storming, are we? Wait, what are we? So. What? what oh, miss oh, he's going to cancel this oh. He's going to move up. Okay, I think... Oh, okay, he's just trying to throw more poison on him. Yeah. Yeah, because he kind of just took the middle guard, right? Because he could have pushed a lot of life, or he could make his opponent really uncomfortable with a shit ton of poison in there. Or at least another poison. So I think he opted for this. Uh, yeah, he doesn't it... get a lot of life damage this turn, but still really good pressure. Yeah, more disruption on Kururu. Oh, taking it to life? He uh, he, he's so unsure. One, one, two, life? To be fair, this is how I lost uh, my last patch as well. I took the needles to aura and then lost, so I don't know if it... that was a different situation, obviously. But <laughs> Gotta play around that quick gain of five player. Sugikage uh, crush. Yeah, they gain five. By player. taking it to life, are you threatening air in Where some the heck, way? The Higate going from range 10 to 2. Do we look at really damage? Maybe he's mixed up and he's. Playing around the uh, bond root or whatever the the four X that Chicago A one has. Quick shout out by the way to people not card tracking. I don't understand why it's so free and it makes the mental process so much easier. I'm surprised not more people are doing it. It's well, a... none of them are promoted. <laughs> well, you don't need to be. They do to copy paste just, like you, just... you do. Yeah. But I don't copy paste. I just go to the board and unlock and then grab. Oh, Honestly. I see what you're saying. And when if they playing... wanted to, they could ask me, and I, I would obviously promote them. Okay. So. When you've been playing card games for 10, 15 years, and you play a card game that only has 10 cards in the deck, you may you start like following cards without actually copying them. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true, but it makes sense. Like for me, like even if you like, you know, you play tons of card games, like just using all the resources available to you to ease the mental strain just makes sense to me. Yeah, like, I definitely. There's no downside to doing it. I sit there no, and I, I count them out on my fingers. I'm like, <laughs> slash brandish <laughs> yeah. strike. I'm just, I'm just so used to to counting threats on my head. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just like for me, like it, just, it doesn't seem like there's a reason like not to do it. No, there's no reason not to do it. <laughs>
this is like a social thing where like you feel awkward for like card tracking your opponent sees it but like i mean what are they do they see like card safe played so i guess it's kind of a help to them but not really i mean i literally had a word document open in, in my my matchup earlier with like <laughs> things that i was trying to keep track of and, and, and it also works speaking of which as the tournament goes on or at the end of the tournament i'd like to try to archive de- archive matches essentially all i want is who won what characters were picked, what was banned, and uh, what was in the deck. So, like, I kind of started a document. I'm probably going to share the document to all the volunteers and whoever else wants to help. Just go through the matches and just watch them online and just record the cards and stuff. Hallucinogen so. coming in. Keep that flare locked down. Uh, yeah, I agree. Right? Gears. Yeah. Gears. It's kind of like a wide out thing. So. Gear in the bottom of the deck really hurts. Well, that was one that got put in there this round, right? Was it? The industry of this. Oh, the the other one is in the discard, right? Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. So he's gonna play that next turn, I guess. So it's a two-two, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is a two-two. Wow, I don't even think he could follow this up. Yeah, Can no, he? he can't. He can't. It's a bit under. Ah, uh, he could. No, yeah. Yeah, Shed knows he has two poison. It's just up to whatever his special is, and his special does not say you die. So. Yeah, it doesn't say bear. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it said bear, would it matter? I don't think would it. No, because it's throughout. Oh, he's he does. He what? does have the potential to, to like maybe get a life hit in with. Oh, never mind. Toby kage has gone. <laughs> Not on the table. Yeah. He could lightning, get the extra action a... out of playing the hallucinogenic poison if he remembers it. Um, if he had Mosul up. Oh wait, that's reflector, reflector, not module. Yeah. I think he's just gonna shadow shadow step and and steal strings again with the other gear. Yeah. yeah What's saving and... grace here though is Miss Bait is not gonna be online for uh shed, which is uh, pretty good for him, I'd say. Also when he, wonder... he when he reshuffles his reflector is gonna give a mechanism on the acceler immediately, but mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ordinary, oh no! It won't. Uh, it's gonna. It's gonna. First. It's gonna disenchant first. You're right. Oh, another another awkward turn from Shed. I mean, he just goes R three like slashes right. And then if he takes the life, then uh, well, he might even uh, tilt strike first and see see what he does. The oh, what is this? Why? This seems odd. Um. Uh, well, strike. he's. Thinking about steel strings, probably. Yeah, but with... he knows there's a poison in his hand. Well, but he's gonna reshuffle next turn. Oh, I guess. Well, yeah. I, see. I see what you. Do. I see what you're. Saying. But but you just keep yourself an R two, right? Oh, does he's he got he's got an info. He has, he has an info. Yeah. Uh, that sucks. All right, sure. So what's his second card play? That's what I'm not sure about. Does he just go to R three anyway and just play slash? I guess. Yeah, you might, might even go Brandish, too, just to rip that aura down. But he doesn't have Mistbane this turn, so it's not, not great. Okay, he's just going to go off with this. He's going to discard with this, so he's just going to resolve a bunch. wonder if you're scared of Caltrops here at all or not. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. I don't uh... think you are, because you know there's a, a duplicate gear in there, and you know that's that's what's coming out. I mean, yeah, Caltrops is annoying, but I mean, like, it's kind of like one of those, it's like a weird situation where you're, like, super far ahead, and it's kind of, like, calculating to make sure you don't lose to something silly. So, he's playing overly cautious here, but, I mean, that's kind of like, you know, the classic fighting game thing. Don't approach, don't force anything crazy if you have the lead. Yeah, so, if, if you can throw fireballs, just throw fireballs. Yeah, exactly. So, he's not, like, going super hard here. Like he could definitely be very aggressive and take more of what he takes life off, but at the risk of leaving himself more exposed. Yeah. So he's taking a more conservative approach. He, he definitely he needs to lead. discard a card. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely he, should discard. He also knows that the the rush of blades accelerator is in play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's probably afraid of a card that one antic didn't even brought. Or no toxicity, but has. Shed taking any damage that isn't reshuffle damage? I don't think so. No. Paul. Oh, so there's, there's an impulse walk into the. One antic is also only running one attack card, I believe. So. Yeah. I guess that's true. 
That's why I mean, it's so weird to me that he didn't bring the... Oh, no, he's running too. He's got the throughout also. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's got Exodia. Yeah. <laughs> and it is a secret pile. I always thinking about maybe, it. Maybe he just draws two duplicates and just pops him for life. For your life. <laughs> but see, like, as I mentioned earlier, that's what? what's already scary. Yeah, this makes sense, right? Because now he's accelerating Yurida. And putting even... Actually, this actually applies more pressure to what oh, did, you know? Oh, okay, yeah. I see. I see what you're what you're saying. Like when I picked Yurida, I thought it was pretty simple, but she actually has some pretty complex things that you can do. Like she is a simple character, like to this is, play. This is mm. The duplicate is, is actually against... vicious here because, it... yeah. or not the duplicate, the drain devil here kind of. Oh, here's the second duplicate. Oh yeah, this thing is for shuffle damage. This go this goes against everything that we just said about him playing safe. Yes, but I mean, it's still not overly aggressive. He still has three aura now. So it's not like going super camp. I mean, he's just like, yeah, you know, he's about to. Uh... I mean, the 2 2 is probably going to get dropped here. Just the question of whether it's going in the discard or whether it's getting played. Two -two. And I think, you, I think you have to play it here just so that you can enable your reflector when you drop it. Mm, yeah, yeah, probably. Just play it and then mux muscle relaxing. Oh, this is or you or you discard your reflector. No, that was the uh, the accelerator. He's in... he's trying to oh, okay. he's giving up on the rush of blades idea. Okay. Yeah, this is actually like a little reminiscent of what I take uh, from last tournament. He tended to play in ways that he had a bunch of different ideas that kind of threw him together in a deck. And it kind of wasn't because of like two kind of half ideas. He wasn't really able to execute on a single game plan. And I feel like that's what happened again this match as well. Yeah, um, this, this, is why I, this is why I think this is so weird because he has developed this idea. I've seen he played like this idea, this idea better before. Uh, like also too, like um, I feel like like for personally for what I think, I think just like keeping to like more aggressive characters. Like he's he definitely enjoys playing Karuru. But like when he got Karuru banned and he just got to play like a s like not simple, but a more like straightforward style with Hatsumi and um uh, Obero, I think he personally shined a lot more with just a more straightforward aggressive style versus like Karuru having to do very weird things in order to achieve things. Like she could do cool things, right? But yeah. like it forces you to commit to ideas. And I feel like what Antic definitely likes to like Ted just goes for two or three ideas, and Karu doesn't really support that. And I think that's what we're seeing here. Uh, I wish, like, he, but I, I've talked to him a little bit in DMs when it was coming to his picks. Uh, he was very, he, cha he was one of the players who changed his picks like 20 times before the tournament started. <laughs> so, like, he, he at first he wanted to commit to a more like at first he locked in a more traditional style like offensive, but then he was like, ah, Karu is fun. I just want to play Karu, and I was like, all right. Yeah, so. That's fair. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's definitely a harder style to play. And I also think he tends to, I don't know about overthink, but he tends to have a division in ideas uh, when he uh, plays the career here. He wants to do too many things at once. I mean, yeah, he's, there's he's, only so much. He's in a winning position right now, right? Jen is. It looks like. What, Antic? Uh, he, uh, you're getting it mixed up again. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> So you just open with slash here, that you're just really sad. I mean, this is just another life damage, right, for free. No reason not to open with slash. Yeah, seven attacks is kind of overwhelming. Yeah, I like the way that Shed built his deck, but I do yeah. still believe in the uh, storm being swapped out for something else. But I mean, as uh, Meg Lewis stated, you could use it for like to enable some even deeper cheese with the Urina final blow. I think which, that's uh, what he's doing. I think that's 100% why the storm's here, mm -hmm. is just so that he can support himself and survive at three life without getting comboed down. All right. Yeah. Okay, like I don't think it. Like I don't think it's like the like a completely unusable option. I personally would have opted for something else, but I don't play Chicago, so. Uh, yeah, I think you should always open slash here. Makes sense. You don't start with concealment. That doesn't make sense. Yep, slash comes out, goes to yep. life. Yep. Oh please. Okay. <laughs> um. So. 
Yeah, now he's in an awkward spot. Like, you run into the spot a lot where you have, like, things to do, but they're not particularly useful. So you just save it for a future turn. You go to R2 here. Now it's just uh, how much he, uh, how much, what else he wants to preserve. But I think to Aura, he's pretty, oh, no, he wants more. Interesting. Uh, I think it's reasonable. I wasn't sure if he was going to um, keep the two cards to have a stronger turn in a future turn. But it looks like he opted uh, for it. Mm. Maybe he's even just trying to bait one antic into the final blow here. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, the final blow isn't super clean here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, storm. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because he'll take two, right? And then he'll have seven. Fl no, he's missing one flare. He needs eight for it to work properly. Well, he just needs to get into the resolve and have one antic not be at five or. <laughs> Actually, he oh, can yeah, even he can even hit concealment and then potentially do it if it's the one attack that comes out. But it doesn't look like one antic going to be attacking this turn. Oh uh, yeah, but he doesn't have anything to attack. So yeah, and concealment really at range three would pull him out of the the range of his one final blow too. So also, quick, what do we think about him just holding on to um, brandish there instead of playing it for armor? I kind of like the idea of just holding it and having a stronger future turn. Because now it's really awkward, right? Like, if you would have had, like, Brandish here, like, how strong would that have been? I mean, the one aura? that's what I would have done, but I'm probably not winning this tournament, so. <laughs> There's always a chance. Uh... Yeah, see, like, what would have Brandish? Well, I guess, it, yeah, Brandish would have done Oh, stuff okay, here, right? so no. I think, again, he's playing around, he's playing around Steel Strings, but he's taking Drain Devil into account, too, like. Has Drain Devil been procking every turn? Not every turn. No. It, it procs when Absolutely. something resurges. Oh, okay. So, like, one Antic could choose to do an early reshuffle and hit with the Steel Strings from there, and, and then Drain Devil when Industrial reshuffles, and then follow up with some mm -hmm. stuff on his turn. Yeah. But again, this is just such an awkward turn for Jed. He's had to deal with a lot of these, so props to him. Oh, it finally gets the research, though. That's going to be a big deal. To close out this game, I think maybe not this turn, but yeah, that yeah. actually slowed him down a ton when he had when he misbaned with the one antic having one card in hand. Uh, he needs to research, right? Am I wrong? Yeah, because I think I if think he, he oh yeah, yeah, that was your hand. Uh, I guess Shed didn't see it. Maybe he just didn't do it with that purpose in mind, but. I uh, would have instantly research that. I do like, think so, it yeah. that that slowed him down a lot though. Like if he had saved it for turns when he knew it would research, he probably would have gotten a lot more misbanes in this game. But maybe not too much yeah. effect. Yeah, I don't know. I don't be. I mean, one antic. Well, you kind of have to like, observe the other option, right? It's forced one antic to play at one card. So I don't know how much of impact that is, and how much that's affected one antic. But uh, I don't know. He opted to kind of just run it into the reflector. I don't know. Uh, that was an interesting turn that could be looked at. But... but I mean, at the end of the day, we're talking about how he could maybe be winning more than he already is. and it, Yes. That's, uh... that's the juice. <laughs> <laughs> I think you save, you hold back the reflector this turn if you can. You don't want to have both your muzzle and reflector at the same time. Sounds correct. Uh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but so now, uh, what I need to get on the defensive, I mean, can he kill him? Um, out with the reflector, right? Well, he has this thing. He, does, he doesn't he have. He has. He doesn't have reflected down. He has muzzle down, but he also oh, okay. has. He has. A, he has a skill reaction in hand, which he can use to step. So, he's safer than he might appear. But yeah, I have no idea. I mean, this is gonna. Oh yeah, because if he plays the reaction, then he gets the muzzle too as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yep. 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 So whatever the first yeah, attack is, he's probably going to take to Aura to free up his muzzle options, but... 
Yeah, I wish I could commentate more on what antic side to tell you what's happening, but I have no idea crew works, so kind of just commentating what Shed can, can do. I mean, it seems like a, from what I've heard from the people who know what they're talking about when it comes to crew, it sounds like a bit of a deck building uh, split here, which is causing a lot of the, the deficit. But um, yeah, I think that the, the I think the deck building is is flawed on the on the last Oboro special. Everything but that sounds like sound looks okay. Oh, okay. All right. I'm I'm not sure what the Tobikage is doing here. I feel like, like Tobikage what, what would have plan? it would have more of an, of a of a role if you had other things going on, but it yeah like. I've I've seen him run a variant of this deck where he goes with Acceler into Regina to like do Kumasuke every turn yeah. or something like that, or and you can theoretically use that to Tobikage your Acceler your Regina to react with a bear on the opponent's turn. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so let's see what's going on here. What did he opt with? I missed it. What did he? Oh, he played Hilt Strike. He took it two to aura. Oh, okay. he he played Hilt Strike, but he wasn't at the right range. Something like that. I thought he was at R two when it started. Was he not? No, oh, I don't, there was a ping on the the range when it was at three. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, he goes to R four. Yay. God, that card is so good, actually. I think it's also one of like the strongest. Uh, it's, I don't think it's kind of interesting, right? Because I don't think concealment's like a super good reaction. I think but it's like, a very good reaction if you're if you like against what like Ryra or what I mean, like anything I mean, how many with that kind you? of attack range. But like the the after effect is just extremely potent against any kind of close range character. Like, yeah, well, of, yeah, that's the thing. But it's, it's like shuts like, like, down the character. Pommel thrust doesn't stop you from moving forward afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but like, yeah, the thing with like concealment though is like, I like every time I see Shen use it, I don't think I've ever seen him use it as like a reaction. He always just uses it as an attack. Like, it can be very good. Well, against, that's like, the other thing is when it like, when it force hits Aura, that's a very powerful effect on cards generally. Like, it just opens people up a lot. But see now here, if he plays the Kunai, then he has a free two two going through with Mist Bane. Oh yep, he's blocking reactions. Wait, that won't work. Oh yeah, well yeah. Ah, and he can't move yes. forward, so he can move backwards to avoid it. Oh yeah. Yep, that goes with the muzzle. Oh yeah, because it's stacked with the muzzle, so yeah. But he can't move. He can't move the. Uh... Yeah, he can't. Forward. What? Well, I guess I because guess, concealment I guess has an after attack move. effect that makes yeah. it so you can't move forward. You can't take the move forward oh, action. So I you guess, can't do that as well. I guess you induce the aura, yeah, and then move back. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it means you. I thought you couldn't move backwards. You can't move forward. You can't move forward. Huh. Hog. But. Uh. Oh wow! Damn, thought it was backwards. No, it's the keep away from me card. Uh, I, mean, I think I had a mental. I think I actually mentally exploded on that card. Like it wasn't even like I actually generally like generally thought it did that when I was playing against him. I don't think it would have changed anything. But like I was just forward backwards. It's all the same to me. All right, so what range are we at? R six. Oh jeez, nobody likes R six in this match. I think. I think Shed is almost at the point where he could just like bird one antic out just out of cards. Yeah, just if by by that. sitting at distance and building aura and waiting for the opponent to reshuffle for so, us. Yeah, gear is coming out here, right? I imagine but so. Then, but the, yeah, but then he, what, he right? really wants to. He might even play Reflecta here just so that he can, uh, or if he can. I don't know if he has an attack down. I think he might. Uh... But I mean, so... that way you can uh, hope for the 
the gear acceler rush of blades turn that this deck is kind of designed around. Oh yeah, if he if he gears, he just gets final blow. Oh, that's true. Oh no, he's got a resolve, right? Does he have enough? He still doesn't actually have enough for the combo. He needs eight flare for like the true like storm into a uh, final nah, blow. He doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't need that. But yeah, but I mean, if he hits him, he, I mean, he has the. He's just gonna make sure he's always at like or a five at the end of his turn, right? Oh, look at that! It's reflected time. My favorite card. Augers. So yep. uh, he can he can do Toby Kage to enable his Russian blades on the next turn, and get something. He's, uh, missing two, he, he's missing two flare, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. I feel like this is the kind of match where you wish you were running Tsuki Kage Crush instead of Final Blow. I feel like that's every match I play with Yurina, but if if I if I bring Final Blow, that is but I feel like that's always the the like the not the other way around, but you always want the one that you don't have. <laughs> not if you bring both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I think like the three like big ones that are like people like play a lot of respect for. I I guess four is off the top of my head. It's final blow, side A's final stage, um oh, what's that? Kubasuke. Yeah. And um Yeah, here's the final blow. And uh Yeah, here uh, it is. Wait, can he does he kill him? Yeah, that's just death. Paul. Yeah, he's got no token. Wait, he didn't go to aura him. five? Oh, he said F. I, mean, I I thought he would just. I just assumed he would go to Aura Five. I thought he. I thought amazing, amazing final blow. Final yeah. blow hey, two final blow finishes in one final day. Pog. Now he. Uh, yeah, he just took the the draw damage to take life. Uh, Burn himself yeah. down to three. And surprise with the with the finish. That was. That was yep. well played. It's just a discard, right? Just. A, just. Yeah. He doesn't All have right. a flare for it. And yeah, Shed takes it versus what it took. Yeah. I'm gonna ask him why he didn't bring the <laughs> So Yeah, I don't know. Right, so Okay, it sounds like he, he he was just saying it's a bad matchup and I'm going to lose coming into the game. Uh, yeah, fair enough. I think I would I would have just built a lot different. Then again, I'm not a I'm not a Kururu player, so what the fuck do I know? I hate this character anyway. Like I, I love her. I think she's great, but but you like the alternate one. Uh, oh no, oh no, wait, I, you hate I mean, Chikage. I mean she's no, I mean she's cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Orboro and Kuru have a bit of anti-synergy. Um, One character wants you to have a big discard pile, and the other kind of wants you to have a big yeah, play pile. Shuffle, yeah. yeah, that's fair. I, I've definitely had fun with uh, Orboro and alternate Kuru. Yeah, he was laying down the, the plan that we talked about playing, killing him with a Celerish turn. Yeah, that's just like... That's too clunky of a combo, especially when you start diluting your deck with Duplo Gears. Yeah, that's, that's, and Poisons. That's, a, that's very clunky against Chikage. I mean, if you're going to do that, ban Chikage. Right. If you get if you get a reliable combo, you can pull up for a combo's up itself. That's something that 